Stanford University. This is a new way of sending information that's not using electromagnetic waves as most wireless systems use, but rather using chemicals that are being transported through a medium that carry the information via the chemicals. We have a several different pumps and we control these pumps through the microcontroller. Uh, so we're injecting three different types of chemical into the channel. We're going to convert the text message into a sequence of zeros and ones. For each bit, we're injecting either an acid or the base into the channel. So this pH meter takes a measurement and then the, the measurement is sent to the computer where we do the processing for detection. One of the most exciting applications in my mind is in body communications. You don't want to send electromagnetic waves through the body because it can cause damage to the tissues. It also doesn't propagate very well through the body, whereas the body is already using chemicals to communicate between cells. And so our vision is that using these chemical communication systems, we can put them in the body to have sensors uh, talk to each other, to send signals to drug delivery systems, to read devices that that are in the body. There's a lot of other potential applications that this could open up. Robots could, could communicate through uh, chemical tags or chemical trails. Ants do this. And in smart cities, in environments where radio does not propagate very well or it fails. We believe that we have a long way to go to make this system faster and, and better and more reliable. We think that even with the performance we have today, it actually would work in certain applications. It's almost like going back to the days of Marconi when we were first discovering how to use radio waves for communication. I think we're first discovering how to use chemicals. In fact, I think the possibilities are endless. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.